Hey everyone! Welcome to 601 Travels. We've already told you why Chattanooga is a great place in another video, but in this one, we're going to tell you why you should think twice about settling down here and calling it home. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. Make sure you smash that notification bell so you don't miss a future upload. Here's our list of the top 10 reasons you should not move to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Number 10. Bad Schools Unless you like your kids coming in second, getting participation trophies because we don't like to hurt feelings, and having the feeling like you just didn't give them all you needed to in life, consider keeping your kids out of the Chattanooga school system. This is one of the things that parents here consistently feel is really bad. Many choose private schools because of it. There are 48 public schools in the city and are all ranked at just about 40% lower than the national average when it comes to test scores. Only 81% of the residents have graduated high school and that's attributed to horrible student to teacher ratios and the overall feeling of students being shuffled and passed on without qualifications. Number 9. The Weather Chattanooga has extreme weather year-round. It's far enough south to not really have to worry about a lot of snow, but it does happen. Usually between January and March, you can expect a few inches here and there. Other than that, because it's a southern city, July and August are usually very hot and humid. You also can't rule out a lot of severe weather, especially during those spring months where there are risks of tornadoes and straight-line winds. It's also a pretty rainy city, getting 52 inches of rain on the average. You need to be prepared for all of the elements while living here. Number 8. Gas Station Shootouts Gas stations in Chattanooga are especially dangerous and you should never feel safe while getting out to fill up your tank. If you're forced to, make sure you pay at the pump so you don't have to go inside. Recently, a reality TV star was the witness of a gas station shootout and now she unfortunately has PTSD and is undergoing extreme therapy for it. Our thoughts and prayers are with her. This event just highlights the extreme caution you need to take while doing normal everyday activities. Number 7. Crime there's more than just choo-choo trains in Chattanooga. There's also a lot of criminals and gangs. Depending on what part of the city you're in or going to, you might want to travel in groups or avoid completely at night. The violent crime average is 251% higher than the rest of the country and you have a 1 in 13 chance of becoming the victim of a violent crime. You might be safe in the downtown area, but Chattanooga is a large city with many different pockets of problems. It's easy to wander into a less desirable neighborhood and wind up on an episode of Cops Quick. Number 6. BBQ Wet, rubbed, dry, hot and spicy or tangy, you will need to get acquainted with the idea that barbecue is everywhere. People in Chattanooga and Tennessee in general are very serious when it comes to it. There are dozens of restaurants around the city dedicated to the southern tree along with numerous food trucks that you'll find serving pedestrians daily. If you don't like barbecue, people will look at you differently and judge you because it's such a way of life there. Number 5. Poverty Chattanooga has been hit hard with a lot of poverty. It's apparent within the city, by the looks of the houses, buildings, and other blight, the poverty level is actually 39% higher than the rest of the country. This might have a lot to do with the fact that an individual can expect to make just over $25,000 per year working full time. That is 14% lower than the national average. That is if you're lucky enough to get a job and be working. The unemployment rate is 14% higher there as well. Many residents rely on assistance to get by and it's impossible to get ahead for them. Number 4. Not Nashville like its neighbor Knoxville, Chattanooga has a lot to offer in terms of tourism for people who come to visit for a day or two. Any longer than that, you're going to be bored, looking for things to do, and probably end up leaving. Chattanooga will never be an exciting, heart-pounding, and entertaining city like Nashville. It will never have the entertainment, music, food, or events that Nashville does. It's kind of like that second red-headed stepchild behind Knoxville. No offense to any gingers, 
If going out and having a really good time is what you're into, you might as well just go to Nashville while you're in Tennessee. Number three, traffic. There is a major transit hub in Chattanooga, which is I-24, I-75, and I-5. Given the location of the city, sitting on top of Alabama and Georgia, a lot of people are going to a lot of places and, and all subsequently passing through Chattanooga. The morning and evening commutes into the city and out of the city make the highway system really congested. Add in extra time and delays for all the construction that always seems to be taking place. This is definitely one of those places that you have to plan and factor in extra time to ensure you aren't late. Number two, allergies. Chattanooga, like a lot of other Tennessee cities, is hell on earth for those who have allergies. On a scale of one to 100, 100 being the worst, Chattanooga ranked an 84. Many residents there are on medication for allergies, including many of those who have never had an allergy problem before. A combination of the vast variety of trees, weeds, and grasses like mulberry, hickory, oak, ragweed, and bermuda all pile on to make things really bad for those who are sensitive. One option, aside from medication, would be to just stay inside, which wouldn't be a bad idea depending on what part of town you live in. Number one, can't spell it. A study reveals that most people in the United States and a majority in Chattanooga can't even spell Chattanooga. Oftentimes, because they feel so inferior and sad about not being able to spell it, they refer to the city as Chat Chatty, The Chatty, Noog, The Noog, Nuga, Chat Town, and Sea Sizzle. It must be hard to live in a city that you can't spell correctly. That's why there's so many nicknames, because those are easier to say and spell. If you plan on visiting or moving there, be sure to catch up on all the nicknames we mentioned so you'll know what people are talking about. All right, everyone, that'll do it for today's video. Do you live in or love Chattanooga? Maybe you hate it. While you're still here, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That makes us really happy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, y'all.